Hello, hello! This is Simone. I feel like I haven't done a video in such a long time and my kids are home and the construction site across the street is really loud but I want to get the July planner set up up before the 1st of July so today is the last chance and um, I have been doing a different approach to planning in June and I will do that the same thing in July and I'm going to show that to you right now so the this is a standard Midori size Traveler's notebook no it's not a Midori it is a foxy fix and it's the botanical poppy and you can't really see the color the true color here it in my on my screen it looks very reddish but it actually is more corally so I received this and the green one here that's also a botanical but it's the botanical spring in the foxy fix mystery sale i was really really lucky and this is a number six so a standard size travels notebook this is a number four it's a personal size and um yeah i will just start and flip through the standard size because this is where i'm going to do my planning or my memory planning in in july um, this is a single notebook this is what it looks like it has uh, two elastics and there's always people who say you can only use one notebook in a single I do not the, this elastic is a little bit shorter than the other one this is what it looks like but I just um, slip my notebook underneath this and the elastic stretches to hold this in here so I have uh, in this notebook I have two inserts and a um, what is this called folder dashboard from this is a Midori brand folder uh, in my folder it has a like a dashboard on the one side and the other side is a pouch um, I just cut down an A5 Coco Daisy dashboard that I that spoke to me you we usually get six I don't know I need to look it up I do not want to give any wrong information so we usually get several dashboards and I just this spoke to me so I cut it down I took off a slip of the top and the bottom or only on the top just because it's easier to slide in and out but it would actually fit here the height of an a5 is the same uh, height as a standard size traveler's notebook and then I just cut down the sides so that it would easily that that it would fit here on the inside I just stuck some of the sticky note papers um, so if I need to use them and then I also uh, took off several of the pages of the note paper from the notepad from Coco Daisy and put it in here and I really like having that set up here and so now this is my <laughs> plan for using my different Coco Daisy Daisy Dories and I am using a June Daisy Dory in personal size which is right in here for my design team um, things that I have to do in July and not only design team but also my YouTube stuff and blog posts things I need to do for my social media are right in here then the July Daisy Dory in standard size this one is used for memory keeping and memory planning the Ju July Daisy Dory in personal size I will use in August and September for my Coco Daisy design team stuff and then I will go back to the um, planning as I did it in April and May which is in August I will use the standard Daisy Dory for my memory keeping and the Daisy Dory personal size for my planning um, I went to a different style of planning for June and July because I knew that June was uh, the last week of June was the last week of June the first week of June was the first week no okay let me think about this the first week of June was the last week of school and with that all of our commitments 
things we had to do, my volunteering in school ended and the only thing we needed to do every day was have a good time and spend time with my parents on vacation. So I didn't need a daily planner. I use my, um, usually, or in April and May, I use my personal size Daisy Dory as a daily planner. And I had one page per day and I knew I didn't need to, didn't need that. So instead of forcing myself into a system that would, that I knew wouldn't work for the summer, um, yeah, I thought of another system and this is what it is. So. The first page, I have been doing this in the, min the personal size and in the standard size, is my exercise tracker. This is where I put in my step count. Then the second page, again, this is the same. This has been the same ever since I started using a Daisy Dory. In any size is a meal plan for the whole month. And this is my cheat sheet where I put in the family staples. I haven't done any planning yet. I just set it up to use it, but I haven't really gotten around to planning because my parents left Tuesday and then I really needed to start getting into the whole planning thing again. So here is where my July goals will, will be. Again, I did not have time to think about them yet and I don't want to just put something down so that there is something. I want them to be good goals and so I need to think how many I want to have and what I really want to do here. Then I added a tab from the Coco Daisy Planner Kit and this is where my weekly memory planning and memory keeping and planning and it's a combination of stuff and I'm going to show you one page in my uh, from my June Daisy Dory so that you can see what I'm I'm thinking about. And this is, um, I am going to add things we ha I have to do, like a small little to-do list and things I have planned to do with, uh, usually with a black pen. And then I will go in and if I go boating, I will add a boat stamp or I will just decorate it after the fact and add in all the things, the little moments we um, had during the week and the day and this is my June planner and I will do a walkthrough later on but just to give you a, a an idea of how it looks this is this week this is today and uh, these are the tasks like this is was a shopping list and then in blue I added in what we did I stamped, I added washi tape, I added stickers there, I, we had an appointment, I added in, the, in here, um, we went to a, a baseball game which is down here, <sighs> yeah, so this is what the memory planning looks like. Uh, that week we were away and I didn't have to do anything so there is no uh, to-do lists and stuff, there's only decoration. And I actually did this after the fact. So when we went to Emerald Bay on Monday, I sat down Tuesday while everybody else got ready to get going and just did this. And it didn't really take a long time, it, maybe 15 minutes, if at all. And I just added some stickers and added um, what we actually did. So this is what my, what July is going to be like. I will have tasks, I will have appointments because uh, my kids do summer schools and uh, go to summer camps and so there will be more of appointments in here but there's still enough space to just decorate it and the only thing I really, the only thing I did in June up until now is do this weekly memory keeping, memory planning and I will go in now in July or tomorrow today and add in all the things that I wanted to document in more detail and then when I'm done I will do a flip through of this. So this is July is going to be exactly the same. So I'm going to have a 
five, six weeks of memory planning and then I have pages left for documenting events. My currently list, do the Coco Daisy Planner Challenge in more detail in the back. So what did I do? Um, again, also I did not do a lot of things <laughs> in June and the end of May. So I have actually a lot of things on my mind that I need to do and that I need to get to in July. And this is what this is for. I'm going to the next two, three days, I'm going to collect all the things I need to do before school starts in August. This is my to-do list. Then I stamped the days with this stamp set. It's a Coco Daisy stamp set from the Day in the Life Kit in May. And I stamped all of them through the 31st. And then I also stamped the days here. And I didn't want to have the days stamped here. So I went in, took some of the planner pages. They have these dashes as well. And just cut them out and glued them here. And there is a washi tape here to cover the days that I didn't need. Then I went back and used the stickers from the um, planner add-on. This is this sheet and added the dates. And then I was done. <laughs> I did not, I'm not going to do anything else to my, uh, in pre-planning. I added this sticker. This is where I usually do the stats. I'm doing them on the first of each month and just writing down how many YouTube followers and how many Instagram followers I have. And yeah, so that is what I have for July. I will try to do a daily memory planning if I can't get to it, if the days are too stressful, which I hope they aren't. I will do this uh, like every other day or on the weekends and then I parallel to this I will use the prompts from the Coco Daisy Ch Planner Challenge to fill the pages in the back and also again as I said um, fill the pages with events, things I want to document. I just mount, I printed this on, my husband printed this for me in black and white and then I just mounted it on some uh, cardstock and I can just take it along with me and maybe I will decorate the back but I didn't get to do that yet. Um, these are things I really love to do whenever I see some a die cut and I know I have this blank and I know it would work perfectly here then I stick it down. I do not force myself to be creative and I wasn't able to do that yet. What else did I want to tell you and show you? Um, the other book here is my commonplace book and this is where I take often take video notes. Um, I follow several YouTubers that um, give um, help you improve your social media presence and I really love writing down their tips and ideas. So that's what's in here. Um, yeah, I decorated my cover with very simple. I just used a dashboard in the personal size that I really liked, put it, stuck it down. I always use that sticker from the, um, um, what is it called, pretty planner <laughs> paper, the large one, the A5 size, um, and stick it on the front of my Daisy Dory. And then the back, all of my memory keeping Daisy Dories have a number on the back. This is number seven for July. And then I told you that I cut this one down and I just used one of the uh, cut down pieces and glued it on the back. And this is as simple as it gets. And you know, that's the beauty about Coco Daisy. You can do a lot of decoration and be totally creative, but you do not have to because everything is already decorated for you if you want to. Uh, just use it as it is and that's exactly what I intend on doing with this. It doesn't have to be um, complicated to be pretty. So I then added this 
planner charm. I think it was in the add-on plan add-on from Coco Daisy as well. And I still have to get used to it because when you want to add the elastic, you have to slip this through the elastic. So that's um, a bit strange. Um, yeah, and I really like how the coral color of this planner complements the colors of the um, yeah the beach theme, the mermaid theme of the kit. I didn't think it would go so well, but I really love the way it looks like. So this is my number six, my standard uh, memory planner for the month. And then I'm just quickly going to show you what I have in here. And it's actually, it's still the same. I have my wallet insert. I still have the dashboard from June and I'm not going to change that. I added in the another bit of the notepad. There's a um, acetate uh, to cover the notebook. And then I added two tabs. This one is for June. So here I had all of June and it's really very empty because I wasn't here for a lot for several uh, days and then this is where July is going to start. I, I'm going to put that in the back. I used one of the um, daily pages from the personal planner and I copied Anna, Cafe Can Anna in, um, I'm going to link her YouTube channel down below. You should check her out. She has great ideas and she usually uses one of those grid pages on the back of the daily pages to make a little calendar to put in her mini daily dory. And since I needed a July um, calendar like that, I just used her idea and added it in here. And then I just used the July stickers in the June daisy dory and you might say, well, the colors clash. I don't really think so. They go well together. And if, even if one of the colors doesn't look good, the overall picture looks good. And actually, I only need this to be functional and not pretty. So, yes, there is my uh, July planner for my design team and coordinating things and writing things down with YouTube and everything. And then I just added the 31st uh, to the to one of the blank pages in the back so that's july in my personal um size daisy dory it's my um yeah design team planner and then i just have a note paper that i needed that i need have notes that i need to transfer i still i added some of the sticky notepad dashboard and then i <laughs> This is how far I got with decorating my monthly view. I will add birthdays. I didn't really do a lot in June as well, just because there was not much to be done. I don't know if uh, I need something in July. I will do that, but I just didn't have the time, but I decorated it and it looks pretty. So yeah. And for this, the tabs are usually this tall. So I just cut them down at the line and it still works perfectly. I didn't use my bullet journal at all. I didn't do anything in here. So this is, I need to update it. Didn't have the time yet. And then in the back I have my, here, my July YouTube schedule, which is totally empty. I just need to take the time and sit down, but there is so much to do in my house right now um, that I, this just is on the back burner for the moment. So I hope you stuck with me for that long. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye.